Senators want a list of infected nursing homes made public, and providers say they need more PPE and testing to fully comply with the latest CMS guidance. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. To stay in the know of long-term care news, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Facilities with one or more coronavirus infections should be identified publicly, a pair of federal lawmakers assert in a letter to the leaders of CMS and the CDC. Senators Bob Casey, the Democrat from Pennsylvania, and Ron Wyden, the Democrat from Oregon, are calling on the federal government to list every nursing home that has had a resident or staff member test positive for COVID-19. Frustration was expressed last week when CMS Administrator Seema Verma said fewer than 190 nursing homes had experienced infected individuals, while just a few days later, an NBC report quoted CDC officials as saying the number was already 400 or more. The senators argued the names of the facilities should be made public in order to prevent further spread of the disease. They're also seeking information about what information nursing facilities are required to provide to the agencies when an individual tests positive for COVID-19, how often the CDC receives testing and results data from the states, and what steps the agencies take to inform the public and other providers on locations with a positive case. The lawmakers asked for a response from the agencies by April 16th. Advocates are warning that providers won't be able to realistically implement new guidance from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services until they have enough personal protective equipment and access to testing. Most recently, the administration is asking all workers to wear face masks under pandemic conditions. At McKnight's Long-Term Care News Reader Survey last week found that more than 77% of facilities were experiencing PPE shortages. The administration's set of new recommendations also calls for temperature checks for every single person within a nursing home, as well as separate and segregated COVID-19 buildings or units. Providers are in desperate need for more PPE in nursing homes, priority testing for our healthcare workers and residents, and the ability to quickly recruit and hire more staff. Nursing homes have acted on things it can control, like limiting visitation and implementing social distancing strategies during the early days of the pandemic. But without sufficient resources, it will be tough for providers to fully comply with the latest guidance. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.